All right, today we are working on this garden. Essentially, we have set up, yes, a couple days ago, the walls were set up. And so what we're doing is filling in the cracks with like mud. And then like making this like solid layer of essentially mud brick. Um, but if you see, Bobby is covered in mud. And um, that is because we're running low on sunscreen. <laughs> so. It's brilliant. So we're just covered in mud. Anyways, these lovely people are Jessica <laughs> and Earl. <laughs> and they're here with us uh, at Michael's place. And so they are working on the garden project with us. And that's just what we're doing. So we are mixing mud <laughs> and packing it in. <laughs> but anyways, so today has been a much better day. Much better day. We're working earlier this morning. We were gathering rocks and we had a nice breakfast. And we decided to not leave Monday at yeah. 6 a.m. Yeah, so we're not. We're gonna stay Monday. probably for a week. <laughs> yeah, it got much better. But so, like over, if you see behind me. They are working on the patio and doing some stuff. But this is our life, making mud. Making mud, making mud, making It'll be mud. be a tour of the, the house later. Yeah, tour of the house, house later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you think it's gonna work? Or should, should I fill in the sides? Fill in the sides, we need it. Why don't we go around and do the whole top part first? Cause like- And then we could go in with the The dirt's side. like kind of, up against it too. So focus on holes, top part, and then we could go um, back around later to sides. That works. Yep. Because if we keep getting distracted by each little thing, we're gonna take like we'll we won't finish one half, and we'll just keep going and going and going. By the way, this has been recording. <laughs> <laughs> A vlog about it. <laughs> I'm probably like I'm probably just gonna like speed this part out and like put it. Like dun 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> or the cucaracha. In the Costa Rican and then like pause for some of this weird dialogue. <laughs> Where is I almost wish you hadn't told us and stopped. I know. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> Because that's as soon as you said that's like shit, what have I been saying? I, <laughs> I was like, no, I say anything like weird. Back to dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so now, video cam, this is the real stream. <laughs> <laughs> What is our dinner? Um, so I think we assess after we do we do this, assess what's in the kitchen, um, rinse off and stuff, take a shower, whatever, um, walk down to the store. Okay. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. With what? <laughs> when we're gonna be done. <laughs> oh no, I have no idea when we're gonna be done. I'm just I'm thinking. Cause what time is it? Egypt? Uh, I don't think you do that from Okay. I got you. 12.30. Okay. So yeah, it's not like it's gonna be like... It's not gonna be. I, like, we're not gonna finish this at 7. No. I don't know if... We like, finish this whenever we want to be done. Yeah. yeah, I say we go until like we're like, okay, now we really need to start planning. Because we have to account for showers. Yeah. I'm not waiting until 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> that shit's done. That shit's done. <laughs> This fell over, I thought it was a giant bug. I know, there's gonna be some 
I'm really surprised I haven't like picked anything up. <laughs> I know. Like a big old bug in your hand? Yeah. Me too. Like like I've the, come across a couple of like millipedes. I've seen spiders. Alright, so this is the stopping point for today. We have done that side, the entire back, and then also that side over there. Hello! And more dirt. And more dirt! <laughs> lots and lots of dirt for this project. So yeah. But we're stopping for today and we're going to just go to the market and get food. Our plan is black bean burgers for dinner, maybe, um, but none of us really know a recipe. So. Improvisation! Yay! Alright, we got dinner going. What do we have for dinner? Um, well, I have no voice, so I'm going to try. Um, basically, we're running out on ingredients. It's going to be great. Um, taking some beans, um, roasting the garlic, dry roasting it to make it sweet. Um, I roasted the bananas and the peppers on an open fire to get a smoke. Um, and then once these are nice and sweet, I add all my aromatics into here, sweat it out, and I'm going to take the beans, smash them, keep some of them whole, and then basically make them into patties. We're going to sear them to seal them, and then... Papas fritas. <laughs> Delicious. That was Alyssa, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alright. And we, everything is cooked by candlelight. No electricity here. Totally remote. And we are making buns. Everyone else is hanging outside. In the dark. monkey. See? See? Yeah, very loud today. See, I said no with the key. I said that. Silencio. He's annoying. He works so well. Kiss is annoying. See, I just saw him. Kiss is annoying. Kiss is annoying. He wakes us all up in the morning. Who is who? Oh my gosh, so cute. See? He's like, huh? Me? Puppies sleeping. Okay, so this is like the main room. And we've got the kitchen, and this is like the dining room. We usually pull the second table over, and we all sit together. So it's like one big long thing, and we all eat by candlelight and cook by candlelight. There's Alyssa and Jess. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. It's getting cleaned up after breakfast. And yeah, we all just like cook together and eat together and joke together. And then over here is the room that Bobby and I were staying in. Oh, and this is Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> and Melissa. Hi, hey, Melissa. Hey. <laughs> good morning. They, good morning. They are packing up and leaving today. But anyways, this is the room we've been staying in. Hey, whenever you get to wherever you're going, let us know, and we'll cook you dinner, breakfast, lunch, whatever. <laughs> Perfect. Definitely. All right. So we got bunk beds. Uh, water. All of our shit everywhere, <laughs> and more bunk beds. And then also, this happened before we came, but there's a bed on top of the bed, and we don't know what the hell's going on. But yeah, so this is the sleeping room. Sorry, there's no bats this morning. <laughs> yeah, there's no bats this morning. <laughs> They're usually just like flying like all up in there, but no bats today. So. <laughs> All right, back to the main living room. And then there's Michael's room, and Jess is in there too. But here is the bathroom. We've got sink, some shelves for all of our stuff. Toilet, working toilet, so nice in the jungle. And then we've got the shower situation. Yeah, ooh. And then usually there's these like really cool water bugs. Just everywhere. So yeah, that's the house pretty much. This is where we've been, we've been staying for a couple days. 
Oh, and then over here, we've got Jess and Earl's room. Just a sneak a peek. They got the mosquito netting. Kings and queens in here. So yeah, but like the roof up there, they don't, it, like it's kind of open, so we all like connect and can like talk and whisper back and forth at night. <laughs> so yeah, hello. So we're all just hanging out outside. Usually we're on the porch, just chilling and talking. And yeah, so that's the house. Say hi, Michael. Hey, Frankie. 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 And there's Frankie. He's our little favorite. Our favorite little man with the underbite. What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. It's been so much fun. So much to do. Keep being little positive butterflies. Oh, yeah, yeah, stay safe. Stay safe. Oh my, my laundry bag. Get the laundry bag, guys. Yeah. It's really worth it. Yeah. yeah. So much fun. Yes. Get the chacos. <laughs> yes, get the chacos. Get chacos. Get chacos. What's funny is that we were told about them beforehand. If we did forget anything, keep it. We're spoiled Americans anyway. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. That's a perfect line. <laughs> Just leave that shit, bro. Alright, walk carefully, don't fall. None of that turtle on the back shit. Because <laughs> then you will be like a turtle on your back. <laughs> Alright, oh, Vida Vida, travel safe. So today is Tuesday and tomorrow morning we leave this farm and <laughs> and we will be heading out on the ferry to go over to the main mainland of Costa Rica. We're not on an island, but we're on like a peninsula. So um, it's been three days since I really last vlogged, but um, yeah, so where we're going next, we told you we were going to keep you posted, was um, we we had like a huge change in plans and definitely influenced by, uh, by this one. So she's writing down directions for us right now because um, that's where her and Earl just were. Essentially what we've been doing since I last really like vlogged was um, we've just been working, essentially, working and cooking and working and cooking and sleeping and, and not freaking out. Um, <laughs> in summary. Um, but yeah, we just kind of like, we made it work. So we've been hauling rocks from the river and that's, would you say like 200 meters away? It's far. No, it's not that far. Um, <laughs> it's far when you're lugging a rock. <laughs> well, you can show them. So, the entrance. Yeah. So, oh. essentially, you go, like, all the way down that entrance, and there's, like, a doorway or a gateway on the other side. And then you go, like, all the way along. And then the river is, like, downhill. over there down a hill a little bit. So, essentially, we're, like, hauling these, um like massive amounts of rocks just up the hill and over into the farm and we've been building uh, the footage that that I showed where we were like it looked like we were just playing in mud um, but we're essentially building a rock wall to hold in dirt for a raised garden so that's that's essentially what the plan was and what we've been doing for two days now two days or three days is that what we're doing since Sunday. Uh, since Sunday. Since Sunday. Yeah. So for three days. For three days we've been hauling rocks and playing in mud. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Are you going to show them the garden? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Am Oops. I going to show them the garden? <laughs> 
Yeah, so I'll, <laughs> I'll show you what we've done so far. You're welcome. All our, all our hard work, three, three whole days of work. I'll show you what we've done for three days, three whole days. So astounding. But essentially it's just, it's really slow work and um, very tedious. And the guy we're staying with is just ridiculously particular and he just, he just wants everything perfect. But, so, this is what we've been doing for three days. So, the first layer of rock was kind of already there. They'd already worked on that when we got here. But, we hauled all these rocks for the second layer. And if you look, they're like two stones across, or one if it's like giant. And then there's essentially just layers of mixed mud in there kind of like a mud brick so like here's a halfway point where it's just covered in mud so you've got rock mud layer rock mud layer and then we're gonna do more rock well we're not going to because this is our last night but that's what we've been doing and so these little mounds of dirt Earl has been digging up just a shit ton of dirt and we've been, he's been, you know, piling it all in here and so there's like these weird little molehills, but essentially we just make like a little, um, crater inside and then pour water and like mix mud. And yeah, so that's been our process, but it is slow work. I mean, it's, it's huge. I'd say it's, what? 60 feet tall, 15 feet wide, something like that, maybe. But yeah, so that's the path, that's the little gateway. And then like all the way to here. So like all these are extra rocks that are gonna go on the next layer. But, hello Frankie, say hi to Frankie. There he is, he's got his real cute little underbite. Hi pretty blue eyes but yeah so this is this is the beautiful walkway the permaculture farm we've been at <clears throat> but yeah it's just kind of been like the slow life of uh building and hauling and sweating and trying not to cry but yeah it's our last night and so we we're just kind of hanging out we were playing cards earlier I think we should play cards again, but yeah. So that's been the missed time that I wasn't vlogging, but tomorrow we're out of here. Boquete! It's Boquete! Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, as an update, we have seen nothing. We've seen no I'm monkeys. Stuck on the yes! Okay, so Bobby. I stepped on the snake. <laughs> okay, tell the story. So, <laughs> so from the river <laughs> where we were collecting the rocks, there's a shortcut to come back. That way you're not lugging these boulder like beasts all the way back to this garden. And on the way, I put my foot down, but not all the way with the pressure, and I felt something really hard. So I bent down closer because I was like, oh, is it a lizard? Because my dumb ass just thought it, it could be. And it was a snake. And then I ran. And, and yeah, okay, yeah. so the other thing about these snakes is we were told, like, snakes won't, like, get you or attack you or anything, but you just have to watch where you step, because if you step on them, they will strike at you. And, by the way, you have, what is it? Eight hours. Eight hours until something has to be amputated. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> eight hours. Eight hours. be on the bus. Eight hours. Yeah. No, no, no. It takes... The buses only run at certain times, so I like, get into a hospital. Mm -mm. Like I don't even know where the nurse. You're done for. Like no, like you, spiders are easier. You're what is that, like, a day? 20, 20 hours. Yeah. Yeah, you got time for a spider bite. Yeah, so a spider bite we were told was like twenty hours. So essentially, you have like a day until you have to amputate. But like a snake, essentially, mm -mm, you take the machete and you deal with it right there and then. <laughs> Cauterize it with your candle. <laughs> There's no time for that. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, a couple days ago, 
Or yesterday. Was it yesterday the chefs left? That was just yesterday morning. God, time, time is so weird here. <laughs> yeah, yesterday morning the chefs left. So what are you talking about? You're the chef. I'm not a chef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, the, the uh, three New Yorkers. The three New Yorkers who'd been to culinary school and run Shout kitchens out. professionally left. And so we've, we've been doing all of me. But, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been interesting. The equipment is very, very limited. And by limited, I mean I think we, we don't have much. That's Apparently that dog's usable. hibiscus. Hibiscus? There's, there's a new dog, everybody. A there's new a, dog. There's what? a new dog. Peppers inside What? Well, the same here, same dog. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the dogs we know. Oh, that's Darby. <laughs> Darby? Who's the only dog? That's Darby. Jess is the only one. I've been calling. Yeah. yeah. I've been calling that dog Darby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this is Darby. Oh Darby. Okay. Dog. So that is Who's Pepper. Dog? Yeah, and then the tiny oh, yeah, Minpin the Chihuahua is. mix oh, is Kiss, dog. and the white dog, of course, yeah, is Frankie, yeah, and then the crazy neighbor is, what's the dog's name? Coquito. 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 His dog is, is Coquito. Um, <laughs> he made us spoons, by the way, but it was like some big deal, and they got in like a fight, and the spoon was thrown back into the jungle, and we had to retrieve it. <laughs> <laughs> so... Our host, <laughs> who's like translating all of this, um, got into an argument with. You have the Panama book, right? Yeah. With the neighbor, his name is William, and he he like works with redwood. And oh he makes goodness. these beautiful, beautiful so, spoons. I but like handwriting. My, it's like a five year old. Mine looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I don't want to say it. So like he he won't even come um, up to us anymore. The first couple nights he was so happy about seeing us and being with us and he would you know tell jokes and we'd do like tricks together and like solve riddles and have fun like translating doing trades but um there was this huge deal about these spoons for some reason he thought that we didn't want to buy them and we just want to make them ourselves um which was part of it we wanted to see how he make them but like totally willing to buy them but it was just lost in translation, I guess. So, like, he stopped coming over, he stopped talking to us, and there was a bunch of yelling, and, like, he'd already started making one of the spoons. So he got very, very frustrated and just, like, threw it back into the jungle because he was like, uh-uh, like, I'm done with these people. I'm not making them spoons for free. And, yeah, yeah. So I, it, like, may have gotten sorted today, but anyways, two of us have spoons, and he's been paid for them. But, yeah. There's been some, some drama. Okay, but I think that's all for tonight. We're heading out tomorrow morning really, really super early. We have to be out of, like, out of here at 5.30, 5.30? Yeah. Yeah, at 5.30 to go catch the uh, crazy little bus that we gotta get on. Packed in like sardines, so. That's it for tonight, but good night. I know, it's like hanging.